Yesterday, or I think it was the other day, there's something interesting that involved a Nigerian at an airport in Pakistan. So there is uh, this Nigerian who was actually uh, traveling, I think, through Pakistan or to Pakistan. He had luggage and uh, the sniffing dogs over there picked something unique and uh, on checking his luggage, he was found with around 6 kilograms or 9 kilograms of uh, drugs yeah now uh this whole thing is not quite new and this is usually a problem associated mostly with some of the nigerian illegals in our countries here in africa now if you went to uh, south africa there was an article i was just reading uh if you went to the streets of south africa and try to identify the persons who are actually selling drugs you realize that uh, a huge chunk of them are actually nigerians now this is a very serious problem uh that uh, most people who are in nigeria most citizens who are in nigeria who are usually very quick to say that uh, other africans are xenophobic or uh, uh being biased towards them usually never look at it in fact what usually happens is that uh, these Nigerians will usually leave their families very poor in Nigeria, uh, come to South Africa or Kenya or even any other country, Europe included, uh, start uh, doing crazy deals, including drugs, specifically drugs, and make money and start sending this money back to Nigeria. Now, in the minds of the people in Nigeria, they assume and think this guy has made it in life, and that is why he's sending out this money. But what is actually happening is that the Nigerians, uh, uh, some of these Nigerians, uh, by selling these drugs are actually ruining the lives of the local population, you know. Because, for example, the 9 kgs or the 6 kg this guy was found with uh, could have affected very many families. It could have ruined very many marriages. It could have made very many children helpless, uh, even parentsless, etc., you know. But they sell these drugs. These guys don't actually care about the, the local population, the human aspect of it. And that is why you are seeing very many calls from different uh from parts in Africa where people are saying that Nigerians need to be deported back uh, to their country. Now, this is not only isolated here in Africa. In fact, there is a very serious crisis also in Italy. Some parts in Italy, you realize that Nigerians have uh, taken over and are actually selling drugs in those areas, you know. And this is a problem that uh, the people in Nigeria, for some reason, never talk about, you know. Uh, I usually say even the same Nigerians that are actually uh, making too much noise saying that you are being biased towards Nigeria. Nigerians. If uh, a Kenyan or a South African or let's say even a Ugandan went over there and started doing or selling drugs to their people, their children, etc., they would make a lot of noise the way you are making a lot of noise, you know. Because what actually happens is that uh, these Nigerians will leave Nigeria, they will get a student visa or something, come over here and pretend to be studying something, uh, then immediately after that, they want, they don't want to go back to their country, so if they overstay over here for uh, five, six years, they start doing all sorts of things, Ponzi schemes and everything, all sorts of illegals. To them, they want to make money. They lack that empathy because they know 100% even the, the kids and the families that are using these drugs are not their relatives. They are not Nigerians, you know. So they don't have anything attached to fear, you know. And that is where the problem is. Now, anyway, guys, this conversation, we are going to proceed. There is uh, one of my new accounts on Twitter. It is known as Saddam Africa. The spelling is below. The image of the account is just about above here. Uh, kindly follow me on that uh, account. Uh, we'll be hosting several spaces later on next week and even the weeks that follow uh, for us to have a conversation, including the Nigerians, South Africans, and everyone in Africa. Let's have an honest conversation so that even the people in Nigeria get to understand why we are making noise, why some people are making noise and why it appears as if people are against Nigerians, yet the reality is not.